This is Dr. Ned Hallowell with a mini episode of Distraction. Today we're, we're going to talk about jet lag and our producer, Sarah Gurton, just got back from her annual trip to Hawaii. And so she wanted to uh, do this mini on, on jet lag. And, uh, and so she uh, posted um, for my edification some tips on jet lag. Now, the reason she did that is since I travel a lot, um, I've never learned how to handle jet lag. I've been to all over the world, literally. And uh, my, my way of dealing with jet lag is to suffer through it. I truly, I don't know how to deal with it. I, I suffer with it. I hate it. Um, I, I get there. I do all the wrong things. I sleep when I shouldn't sleep. I go to, I stay awake when I shouldn't stay awake. And invariably, I have a, a day of misery. And um, I, I can't remember which is the worst, going east or going west. I don't know. There's one time when you're supposed to go to sleep, another time when you're supposed to stay awake. My wife coaches me on this. Now, be sure you stay awake now. Make sure you go to sleep now. I, I just always get it wrong. And I, I just, I, maybe because I have ADD, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do when. I just sort of do what I do when I do it. And I end up being miserable. And, and I, I think it's when I go there. I, I just don't know. Anyway, I've been traveling as an adult for a very long time. You'd think I'd learn how to do it and not suffer. But I haven't. And I suffer. And I hate jet lag. It's the one thing about travel that I really, really, really hate. So maybe this time I'll learn. So Sarah gave me these tips. And here they are. Uh, these are how to deal with jet lag, according to our wonderful producer, Sarah Gurton, who every year goes to Hawaii, which of course does entail dealing with jet lag. So she says, adapt yourself to your new time zones routine right away. So you get to Hawaii and it's however many hours different and you want to adapt to your new time zones routine right away. Uh, so I guess that means you just, you know, pretend you're wherever you are and live as if you were in that time zone right away. When flying, reset your watch to the new time zone as soon as you board the plane. Okay, so you're, you're adapting the minute you get on the plane. Uh, drink lots of water. Dehydration makes it harder for your body to adjust. Well, that makes sense. So don't do what I do, which is drink lots of alcohol. That's a big mistake. Alcohol inhibits antidiuretic hormone, which dehydrates you. So do not drink alcohol. If you're going to fly, I actually do know that one. If you're going to fly, do not drink lots of alcohol. Do not drink lots of coffee. Do drink lots of water. That, that one, I actually do know that one. You really want to hydrate. And uh, that's her next tip, actually. I didn't see that. Avoid excess caffeine and alcohol. I do know those two. Drink lots of water. And when you're on the plane, walk around a lot. Get up, uh, be one of those flyers who's walking up and down the aisles. It's not just about jet lag. It's a way of uh, avoiding getting blood clots in your legs, particularly as you get older like me. Uh, it's not a trivial event. If you get a blood clot in your leg, that's really dangerous. So get up and walk around the airplane. You're allowed to do that and uh, flex your, the muscles in your calves. Keep the, the blood flowing. So so truly, drink lots and lots of water as you're flying long distances, and do not drink alcohol, even though they offer it to you in copious amounts. Uh, do not drink alcohol, and do not drink coffee. And then when you uh, get to where you're going, uh, get exercise first thing in the morning. Daylight does help to reset your internal clock. This is courtesy of Sarah. Uh, exercise uh, and, and sunshine. And uh, bring your own pillow for better sleep. Uh, if you have room to pack your own pillow, and if you happen to have a teddy bear, bring that too. That I'm adding that. My wife actually has what she calls her huggy pillow. So not only a pillow for her head, but a pillow that she hugs, which she calls her huggy pillow, which I just think is so adorable. My wife is 61 years old. She won't mind my telling you that. And she has her huggy pillow. And, and tell me that isn't the, the cutest thing in the world. 61-year-old woman with her own huggy pillow. 
Um, these are ways of dealing with jet lag. There are other ways. Uh, send them in and we'll do a, another follow-up show on uh, even better ways of dealing with jet lag. Uh, help me with my problem. It's, uh, it's, it's time for me at age 68 to get over this problem uh, because there are good ways of dealing with it. Uh, so I'm appealing to you, uh, listeners of Distraction, uh, help this old man with his chronic problem with jet lag. Sarah's done her best to help. So would, would the rest of you please help out and send in your suggestions. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell for Distraction. If you like what you're hearing, subscribe to Distraction on Apple Podcasts and leave us a review while you're there. I've said it before, but it really does help the show. We need we need your reviews. I, more and more people are coming up to me and saying how much they like the podcast, and I always say to them, please leave us a review. I know it sounds uh, tacky to say that, but we, we need it. Uh, you know, the world of sales is a little bit tacky, but we do need it. And remember, we, we actually enjoy hearing from you. We're, we're working on our next listener Q&A episode, and we would love to include your questions and answers. So send them to connect at distractionpodcast.com. That's connect at distractionpodcast.com. Or call and leave your question as a voice message. We really do love getting voice messages. We get all excited. We light up like a Christmas tree when we get these voice messages. You should see the look on our producers' faces. And we love getting more. So please consider recording your question on our voicemail by calling 844-55-CONNECT. That's 844-55-CONNECT. 844-55-CONNECT. Distraction is produced by Collisions, the podcast division of CRN International. Collisions, podcasts for curious people. Our audio engineers are Pat Keogh and Scott Person, and our producer, fresh back from Hawaii, is Sarah Gurton. <laughs>